Um, Yemima, how much of a struggle is it for you to, as a single mum to juggle working and looking after four children? Um, it has been quite a struggle um, with the childcare side of things. Um, we don't know, well, for me, it's do I go to work? Do I stay at home? Um, can I afford the childcare? Is the childcare sufficient enough? Um, because you're keen to work, aren't you? You yes. want to go out and work, and yes. I think you, is it 25 hours a week you, you are able to do? I do, at the moment, yeah. And that's commendable, given that you've got a family of four to yeah. look after as well. But So how much will this affect you, the fact that you will not be able to claim as much as someone who's above that threshold? Because you're missing out on about 15%. Is that a lot of money? That moment? is, um, because I actually work for the childcare provider that that provides a childcare to me, um, so... And you don't get a discount for no, that, which is Well, you do, you get it okay. subsidised, but you still have to pay right. for it. Um, so, so that 15%, what, what could you do with that if you if it was equal? Um, I think if I could, I would probably get a, a better paying job um, where, where I know that I, I can earn more money without having the issue of childcare. Um, because childcare is always an issue, it's the cost of the childcare, it's where where the children are going to go and how much you're paying to actually have So you to almost it. feel like it's not worth working at the moment. Well, yeah, I, d I do, but I know that I can't because I wouldn't be entitled to anything else because I, it's a choice that I've made to stay at home. So um, working and trying to cover the childcare costs, um, it has been a big struggle yeah, for me. It sounds like it hasn't. Uh, Karen, let's bring you in now because you might it's not just a one-off a kind of blip in the system, is it? Because there are 900,000 families. I think that's 60% of lower income working families that are affected by this. That doesn't sound right, does it? That's right. The government claims to be committed to increasing investment in childcare, which is to be welcomed. But actually, the new system they're planning to introduce will mean that the lowest earners, people like Yemima, who are desperately trying to, to kind of pay their way, receive the least help with their childcare costs. That seems simply wrong. Now, the government say, we've asked them about this, as you would imagine, they say the system, this new system, will be more generous than the existing benefits. And it's investing an extra £200 million on top of existing spending on childcare. Um, I'm keen to get both your opinions on that. But, Caroline, what, what do you think? I mean, more investment is great, as I said. But what the government needs to do is make sure that they're giving equal investment to the lowest earners and not making them pay twice as much for their childcare but as people you earning might, more. Would you say the system is, is more beneficial? Is it better than what you may have been on a year or two or three years ago? I don't think so because the childcare cost isn't going down, it's going up. So you, they may be giving us this extra benefit and this extra help, but you're also raising the cost of childcare. So what do you expect or what do you want to happen? Do you want your benefits or do you want this help to go up at the same rate as childcare is going up? I'd like a balance. <laughs> That's what I'd like is a balance. Can, where can I the can... country afford that? What do you think? But I think the more people go into work... Um, the more than they do put in, back into the system, I guess, because they'll be paying their taxes and whatnot. Um, but th there's got to be, there's got to be that that balance to say, well, yes, I'm going to go to work, I'm going to earn such, such and such amount of money, but I'm also going to be able to pay for my childcare, and I'm also going to be able to get something back from it. I think that's a really important point. We all benefit when parents are able to go out to work and pay tax and pay national insurance and parents are able to go out and support themselves and their families. But they've got to have the support for childcare costs to do that. Yamaya, we've had lots of messages in support of you. A couple that aren't. I just want to read a couple yeah. out now to give you the right reply. Uh, David Parsons on Facebook says, don't have children if you can't afford it. Moaning mothers don't think about the cost beforehand. And Lucy Hawhey says, if I work 35 hours and earn more than someone else, it's probably because that person works fewer hours. I'm sure these are thoughts that you may come across um, from time to time. I mean, what I do you say to them? I think it shouldn't matter how many children you do have. You can go to work. You can sit at home with them. You can do. That's a choice that you make. Um, we're not all having children and saying, "Oh, I'm going to have ten children and sit back and expect the government to support me." Not everyone is thinking like that. I think a lot of people that are sitting at home because they can't go to work because they can't afford to go to work. It's, that's their choice. They don't actually have any other choice. That is their choice. Um, I've worked thirty-seven and a half hours a week you know, previous to this job, and I still couldn't afford it. So there is no take on it. I, I don't really know what more to say. Yeah, yeah. Single parents, <laughs> most single parents yeah. do work. The rest tell us they desperately want to, but it's about making that affordable and making okay. it financially worthwhile. Thank you very much for coming on thank and telling you. us your story. Best of luck for the future as well. Thank Guys, you. Thank you.